cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Banking is on your side. For years, our Better Call Banking investigations have uncovered bank fraud using the payment app Zelle. Banks have typically denied fraud claims if it appears that the victim transferred the money themselves, even if they were tricked into doing so. Well, now Zelle has announced policy changes that could mean some victims of so-called imposter scams could get their money back. Our consumer investigator Shannon Banklin has details on that. These policy changes specifically mention crooks posing as banks or government agencies, but some consumers tell me the policy change isn't helping them yet. They said, well, we never give money back from Zelle. And um, that was my answer. Tara Thomas has been trying since October 2nd to get her $3,500 back after a crook impersonated her bank, tricked her into giving up information, and then used Zelle to instantly send themselves money. Six different transactions, five of $500 and one of $1,000. She says she called her bank within five minutes of the Zelle transfer, but was told they couldn't get the money back. This week, Zelle confirmed changes that should help consumers like Tara. Since June 30th, financial firms using Zelle began reversing transfers for those tricked into sending money to crooks who claim to be a government agency or bank. In addition, there's a new tool to flag risky transfers, such as a payment to an account that has never used Zelle. Plus, a new mechanism that allows banks to claw back funds from the recipient's account and return them to the sender. These changes come on the heels of last year's demands from federal lawmakers asking for accountability from major banks that own Zelle, citing $2.6 billion in impersonation fraud and saying banks created the perfect weapon for criminals but weren't standing by their customers when their money was stolen. Well, Tara is hopeful said, these changes uh, help consumers like her. I, I know that they're giving money back to some people, um, and this was clearly a fraud case. I've basically been trying to be very, very budget conscious right now because I, I'm trying to just make it. I reached out to Tara's bank to ask whether these policy changes will apply to her situation. I will stay on this story as the bank continues to look into this. Meanwhile, Tara tells me she has filed a fraud report with the FBI. I'm Shannon Bacon, 8 on your side.